Hey, it's Dawn here. Welcome to this little nugget. If you'd like the full video, go to the Intero Talk playlist on my main page. Enjoy. Let me know if you can hear it okay. And this is when Wendy Adelson was, Adelson was brought in and supposedly didn't know her ex-husband was murdered. So here she is in the interrogation room. So again, just again, to set the scene a little bit, she's waiting, theoretically, <laughs> to find out why she was brought in to, uh, to the interrogation by the police. She was taken, um, picked up while she was having lunch with friends the day her ex-husband was murdered. And this was, uh, it says 2.46 p.m. And so it was only several hours, actually, not many hours after he was shot in his driveway while in his car. And she's sitting there waiting, wondering what's going on. She supposedly doesn't know anything. So what I like to do is kind of put myself in someone else's shoes and what would I be thinking or doing if I'm having lunch with my friends? So here comes the investigator. Hey, Would you, you this let me know? What would you hear? Um, who is your voicemail? Um, it's from Lisa Carey, who is um, my real estate agent, or who I, I had gone with to find um, a house. She just said she was going driving around town and she heard there was a shooting at Trescott. Yeah. That's what this is about. I'm sorry you had to hear it that way. I'm sorry. I didn't know if I should. I, it's all right. Just leave it there. Is it still on? It's right there. And you want to just hit play again for me? Sure. Now, the first thing I want to say is he was, he had told her, as far as I can remember, not to, to call anyone and to put her phone away. And as soon as he was out of the room, she started looking at messages and listen. Hey, it's Lisa Carey. It is Friday, and I, I feel like an idiot doing this, but I just heard that there was a shooting over on Trescott, and I, I promise I'm not trying to be dramatic or even nosy. I just, I don't know, just, just checking on you, my friend. Um, I hope all is well. I hope your sweet boys are well. And if there's uh, anything you need, let me know. It just it just ran a chill down my spine when I heard that there was um, something going on on Trescott. All right. She went to 3083. I hope all is well. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. That's all right. You can stop it. Or is it stop automatically? It's done. Okay. Do you have your identification with you? So you never took uh, the last name of Markle? No. A D E L S O N. Okay. Wendy with an I. husband's home at 2116 Trescott. Okay. Um, your husband, your ex-husband, excuse me, Daniel, all right, has been taken to the hospital. Um, he's not going to survive. Oh my God. Okay. Establish where you were and who you were with, and so forth. Okay. okay. And then once we've established all that, I can give you more details. Okay. Yeah. The first thing I noticed was when the detective was telling her there was a shooting, she was nodding her head up and down. And now again, she's nodding her head up and down as he's saying that he needs to do his business first. So 
as if she might, um, you know, some people might want to go like this. For me, I would probably be nodding my head back and forth. This isn't true. I don't believe it. Um, but so she's confirming what he's saying. And that may or may not mean a thing. I understand why I wanted you to come here before I discuss this. Oh my God. I'm going to fast forward a little bit at certain parts. Boom. Hysterical crying all of a sudden. Yeah, I was there. I didn't leave my house until noon. So she flips on and off her emotions really quickly. Some people are talented that way. That's all I'm saying. Oh my God. And I tried to drive up Prescott and I saw that it was blocked. Uh, it was blocked or something. Okay. And this is the first time um, she starts with her um, preemptive strikes. In other words, softening this uh, this interview by saying, oh yeah, I drove by there right off the bat. Kind of interesting. Just saying. I'm not sure what time it was. And I just thought, oh, there's maybe some trees down or something. Oh, you're saying that you drove down which one of the side roads? When I, I'm going to a friend's party tonight and it's a, it's a, it's a, um, oh my God, what am I even talking about? I needed to buy, it's a stock, the stock the shelf engagement party. And so I went to buy bourbon. Okay. So I went to. Oh yeah. And all the details about what she was doing, why she was buying bullet bourbon. We're talking in the first minute of her minute or so. Well, before she, after, as soon as she stops crying long enough. To, she starts offering the story of of her morning preemptively. He didn't ask for all those details. I drive from my place of <laughs> Trescott to get to ABC Liquor, and it was blocked, so I just turned around. I was on the phone at the time. I wasn't paying a lot of attention. Um, and I, so I just turned around and drove up the other way. I just thought, oh, sometimes we're... Now, I'd love to know what you think. Do you think she saw that she was noticed when she did that, because the detect one of the detectives that was our police officers, I'm not sure which, that was at the murder scene did see her. She may or may not have known that, but she may have. And so again, the word I like to use in this um, entire inter interrogation video is preemptively uh, putting out information in, in order to soften her exposure. When I went to there, there were in my opinion. Electrical things okay. that would happen. Um, I left my house around 12:15 because I thought I'll get the bourbon and then I'll get some gas for the car and I get super blue for one of the boys' toys. And I was trying to do all I can before meeting my two friends at one. Okay, what? Who was at your house this morning? The only person that was at my house this morning was a guy from Best Buy because my TV was broken and it's under warranty. Yeah, I figured. Okay, oh, a, guy from, a guy from Best Buy was at your house to work on your TV. I have his name and everything at the house okay. on it because the boys broke it, <laughs> so he gave me a choice of. And already just minutes in, we've talked about without being prompted that she was uh, witnessed at least the crime scene tape, that she was buying bourbon. We will later find out what kind of bourbon. And, um, that, yeah, she was having her TV repaired, which we will find out later on why that's important, possibly. And then you... And, and then after he left, I um, I kept working on a paper, and I, um, I emailed the paper to a librarian at school to work on some of the... So again, I just learned that somebody that I once loved, somebody who's the father of my children, was shot and wasn't expected to live... I don't think I would be personally hysterical just yet, but the the uh, the level of detail without with the unprompted detail that she's going into immediately is something that really stood out to me. Let me